Hey everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the position of the car. We are going to develop a program in MATLAB that we could visualize the position of the car in every sample of time. Then let's get to it. Please like, share and subscribe to my videos. It helps me to make videos like this. In this part of the video, we are going to graph in Arduino the position X and Y. In that signals that you could see, those are the sequence of X and Y position. Those graphs are not clear, but in MATLAB, we graph a code with the position X and Y uh, like a point, uh, like coordinates. And you could see that something like a circle. That circle is made because uh, we have a, a signal of a PWN signal of a wheel in 100 and the other one in zero. But in this case, we graph, uh, we left the, the left uh, wheel only turning and the right wheel stop it. And you could see that the graph uh, in MATLAB is. Um, is like a circle it is because there are only one wheel turning in this other part we are going to try to find to obtain a straight line with the robot and we left the PWM in 100 in both wheel both wheels and you could see in this graph that the distance record uh, the distance move by uh, the different wheels, there are difference, and you could see that the graph in MATLAB is not a straight line. That is, is not the thing that we expect, and and that is because you have the different things. You have different things. In the same thing, you could see that we have the same PWN signal, but it doesn't generate the same velocities. Then I, I try to generate the that velocity, that the same velocity of the wheels, and you could see that I can't uh, find the straight line. That uh, I change the PWM signal to Nairi uh, PWM to Nairi 5 PWM, and it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work like we expect. You could see in the in those graphs that is a bad thing, but we could see we could see in this part that the velocity of the wheels uh, are it, it is difficult to find the same velocities and obtain a, a straight line. It is difficult. Then we have to use a control to make it possible. So in the next video we are going to talk about the control and how we are going to find that, uh, that objective. You could see that in this part that I am trying to change the, the different frictions of the, of the wheels and trying my, using my hands uh, and you could see that the position of the car and the movement of the car are different like if I use my hands and that is uh, something good. Let's explain the code of MATLAB. The first uh, line of codes, those are for erase all the variables that we have in MATLAB. The other, uh, equa uh, the other line of codes there is a delete, uh, there is that delete is trying to delete all the ports that we have opened in our MATLAB uh, communication serial port, port and the other one is the creation of the serial port that is the name of my port uh, because I am using a Mac if you use a, a Windows software uh, you have to uh, put some COM3, COM4, the, the name of the COM that you have. The other one is the defining the velocity of the uh, serial communication. Uh, 
And the other one is a warning when uh, it doesn't connect uh, any serial, any serial, uh, it doesn't exist any serial communication. But that's it. The other, the other line of codes is the opening of the serial port. And we defined a, a contador muestras that is a variable that is incrementing in our loop. It's a while, uh, in this while, we are going to execute some line of code that is the uh, reading, in this first one, the reading the serial communication, and we are going to read for that serial communication two variables that come in that message. Those variables that come in that message uh, is defining like a, a float like a flow of communication. You could see right here in the our Arduino code that we sent by serial communication, we sent that serial print. Serial print X, uh, in the middle serial print uh, a simple uh, dot, and the other one is a uh, white. The X, Y position is sent, is separated by a comma. And that is written, that is read, but that, but that, by that it, uh, line of code. And we take that variable that uh, that is, is straight that that string, and we separate that string in with the comma separation with that symbol. You could see that in the middle of the variable between the variables there is a, a comma and you could uh, try to separate those variables. And the first one, the first one variable is saving x and the other one is saving y. Those are our coordinates that are sent for that are sent for our Arduino. And that variable are plot in a in a plot a graph of MATLAB x and y and there is graph like a point there is a, like a point it will say pause a 0 0.01 a, of pause and this whole on line there is the maintain that line maintains our plotting in every sample of time maintain the plotting signals and the last uh, line of code that is the close of the serial communication that line is very important i let this video right here because there is too long right now and the next one we are going to talk about uh, a little bit in a control and how we are going to implement the control of the uh, of the robot that are our first objective uh, I I really love if you help me to share, to like, in, and subscribe to my channel. That help me a lot to do more videos like this. Thank you very much. Bye bye, and see you later.